Hi everyone, this is Taylor with Tad Homes and this is our latest build, the Black Pearl. She is a 25 foot long tiny house on wheels. And this is the video tour. Let's go in. Okay, so you step right in. And the first thing you see is the family room. It is nine feet wide and by eight. And it's pretty tall ceiling, ceiling fan. This is a pellet stove. Let my camera focus. Yeah. This is a pellet stove, plenty uh, heat for the tiny home. It, it burns us out of here. There's two large picture window windows next to it. Um, the wall details is the bottom part is board and batten. Uh, and then this is a gray washed shiplap. I really liked how that looked. And in the family room, there is under the floor storage. It's probably three by five feet. And you just pull up on this little string. And there's a foot of storage down here. Lots of junk in there right now. Let's right, back in. Easy to get into. Easy to close. Right here, there is a staircase up to the kitchen. And this is something that we've not seen before in tiny homes uh, with this, I guess you could call it a split level. And there's a loft right under here. I'll show you in a second. And just four feet above it, we decided to put the kitchen. And we love this design because it almost doubles your square footage. Um, so let's go up here into the kitchen. And there's wood countertops, butcher block. We have an Ikea farm sink. A pretty faucet, another window, a little light fixture. This fridge is a good size. It's not a full size, but it's still pretty big with some storage under it. Um, there'd be room to put in some shelving if you wanted above the, uh, above the countertop. There's plenty of storage down here. Underneath here is the AC unit, and when we had it on, we just pushed the curtain over, and it is a really big unit for the home, and it cools it off really quick. And right here is a dining area. You can seat two pretty comfortably. You just set up a bench right here, and look out onto your Next to your tiny home. I really like the details of it. It's got this rough cut uh, butcher block right here and whitewashed pillars. And um, these for, we have kids, so we wanted to put some extra safety in there. So right underneath the kitchen, I'll give you a full scan, I guess. Pitched roof. I'm 5'6", and my husband is 6 foot and his head doesn't hit the ceiling, so it's pretty comfortable up there for me. But if you were taller, you might have some issues with it. You come down one step, and this is the master loft with some two windows right here, um, whitewashed beams above. This is a standard 8x8 eight eight, um, loft. It's got shiplap in here. The rest of it is board and batten. Um, and the ceiling is, like I said, the whitewashed beams. There's some storage over there. And underneath, there is more storage. Carpeted. And I, I believe it's four and a half feet high. Um, that feels about right. I think that's how tall it is. There's one little step right here. And then you come back out into the family room. On this side of the tiny house, there is another store or another loft up there. And when you walk right into the door, here's the humongous entryway. We love this entryway, it's so big. 
The front door has this fun little window in it that lets in some more light. Um, and the bathroom is right in front of me with a barn door. Um, works out pretty good. You can go into the bathroom. And there's this cute little, tiny little sink. A composting toilet. And some storage shelves right above. Huge picture window in the bathroom, which we love. It lets in a lot of light. And a completely tiled shower. Herringbone pattern with some hexagon tiles. And lighting, two lights in the shower. Or, I'm sorry, two lights in the bathroom, one in the shower. Full, full standing. And throughout a lot of the house is this whitewashed beams, um, we just really like the rusticness of that and we went with it. Um, another light. The cool thing about our, our homes that we build with Tad Homes is most of this house, I would say about 95% of it, is reclaimed materials. We The only things new in this home is that farm sink, the faucets, uh, that refrigerator and the tile. And that's about it. Um, we don't we don't buy things brand spanking new and that helps keep our costs down low uh, for our customers. Um, right next to the entryway is a closet space. We were originally going to make this an office space, uh, but we, we really liked using it as closet space. It's really big. Um, there's this awesome little porthole window with a flap over it, um, as you can see right through there, uh, just in the winter time to keep it uh, more insulated. But most of the time it's open. We just have it in storage mode. Um, move this ladder. There's a door right here. And that covers up the washer-dryer combo machine. And there's the water heater and the electrical panel and some more storage. We, you could put whatever you wanted in there, but it might be a good place to store laundry or uh, cleaning supplies, whatever you really need. Um, but we put this door over it just to keep it tidy and look nice. Um, and up through here is the second loft. And here's what's usually the this fun little ladder we store. I'll get back it up so you can see. Uh, it just stores right there. Most of the time, it's a pretty big hallway. I would say it's at least 34 inches wide, this hallway, um, into the closet and kids locked. So we um, put this grate right here, uh, and it closes down and latches right on this screw right here. Uh, we had kids up there, and then we found that that was a safe way to keep them up there without falling down. Um, here's another one. Yeah, Lad. Lad welded this together. It's a chevron pattern and it just screws in right on the right side right there. And, uh, we never had any worries about our kids being up there. Um, this would be an, a good loft for college students who are uh, trying to save money and have a dorm together because both, oh, it's kind of messy up here. Both lofts are the same size. This this loft is just a pitched roof, so the edges are just a little shorter than the, the loft downstairs. But there's um, plenty of light in here. It has its own window and a light. And it gets a, this loft gets the best um, ventilation for heat and um, for heat and AC. So. Um, let me go show you the rest of the outside. So, this is a cute log cabin style home. Um, all black. I would say it's a dark gray. Has white trim and then these red, uh, these red accent metal colors. Um, for the, the 
washer and dryer laundry room area. Um, here's the one window on this side. The roof is also red. And pretty close, aren't I? And in the back right here, it has the AC unit and um, upper window. But that basically sums it up. Like and comment and share if you like it. And visit our website, which is tadhomes.com. T-A-D-H-O-M-E-S.com. And we'll, uh, we'll see you next time with our next video tour. Thanks so much.